hope, joy, and faith that God has the best days ahead. And if you're just joining me today, this is Healing Rain, and this show is for you if you desire healing, wholeness, and freedom. I'm Sue Detweiler, your host, and today we have Joshua Fowler, who is a prophetic preacher who moves with apostolic authority in the nations. He comes from, he's the fifth generation of preachers. And I met him recently at the Global Prophetic Summit here in Dallas. And so we are going to talk about the new year and what is ahead for you and for your family. Well, today on Healing Rain, I have Joshua Fowler with me again. I'm so glad you're here, Joshua. It's so good to be with you, Sue. I'm so honored to share the word of the Lord with those that are following you and watching this broadcast. Well, I am looking forward to 2023. What a year we have ahead. And I really wanted you to come on and share prophetically what you sense God is doing and how can we prepare for the year ahead? Yes, I, I, I'm telling you, I love uh, the word of the Lord. Just one word can change your life forever. I know, so you've experienced it. A dream, a word, uh, maybe coming to you personally or from someone else. And so I, I cherish these things. I believe it, it's, it's like a treasure when you receive the word of the Lord. And so I was driving across uh, Dallas uh, to, on a business, to a business meeting, and the Lord got in the car with me. And in fact, I'm, um, I had another one of our elders in our ministry, a prophet that was with us, and we were driving on a mission and to, to get to this appointment, and he just, the Lord just got in the car with us, and I started weeping, and I started declaring the word of the Lord and prophesying, and uh, it was recorded. So I, a lot of what I want to share right now came from a, just a divine moment and encounter yes. in our yes. car. Now, this actually happened in 2021, before 2022, regarding 2022 and 23 and beyond. So some of what I'm gonna share now happened right about this time, uh, 2021, when he got in the car with me. I, and this is what I what I was prophesying, what I heard. And some of this Elijah list is released and some has not been released, but I hear the spirit of the Lord say, there shall be a reckoning. Yes, there shall be a reckoning the key of David is upon your shoulder, and in 2022, it will begin. There shall be a recovering and unraveling of the plan of the wicked one. There'll be a recovery of seats from the righteous, seats in the Senate and the Congress. There'll be an unraveling. I see things that have been wound up by the enemy being unraveled and undone. It's going to unravel and fall apart. The plans of the wicked one will fall apart beginning in 2022 concerning the elections. And he goes on to talk about that and things that would be undone. Then he talks for a moment uh, about this. And I want to get to this thing. This, it got me excited about what he was going to do with uh, the, the enemy and how the enemy was scared. Let me see this. Things have been held hostage by political schemes and towards the enemy will be undone. And from 2022, it's going to begin to spiral out of control for the wicked. I see demons frantically running and trying to secure their place that they once had. And they don't know what to do. They are losing control. They're losing their grip over cities, over states, and even over nations. I see alarms going off in hell. Alarms are sounding and demons are running around trying to find what they can do to regain control. They are losing their grip. They're losing their control. And I see it falling into the hands of the righteous. Hallelujah. And then he goes <laughs> on to talk about 2024. And, and so it jumps from 2022 to 2024. And I believe some of this is regarding the elections that we just went through with midterms. 
And some of this is regarding what he's going to do in the elections of 2024 in America. But it's not just that. He's, I want you to hear what he's talking about, the righteous. God's going to move with the righteous. And from now through 2024, things will begin to clear up. I hear the Lord say there will be a reckoning in 2024. He said there'll be a reflection of heaven on earth. Just like there's 24 elders around the throne, he said there, that God's going to begin to reestablish governmental order and authority yeah. in the earth through his ecclesia and yes. these things that happen. He said a double portion, that number 12, is a double portion. So get ready for 2024. Then he goes and starts talking about uh, 2023. He says, prepare yourself for Psalms 23 yeah. and 2023. Prepare yourself. He said, I'm going to reveal to my church really what Psalms 23 means. He said, I'm going to show my people, my kingdom, my provision. Now, if it's all right, I'm going to read a little bit of Psalms 23. Because yes. I think many of us, we, we, we say we know it, but we don't really know it. So uh, let, let me go there. So Psalms 23 and 2023. Just declare that over yourself right now. If you're watching this, just say, I declare and decree Psalms 23 over me and my family, my ministry, my business, my city in 2023. I believe in decreeing the word of the Lord. I wrote a book about it called Daily Decrees. Yes. And I believe that when you decree a thing, it is established according to Job 22, 28. So you have to decree the word. It needs to come out of your mouth over your life to see it come to pass. Now, Psalms 23 says this, the Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. You're going to know that this year of 2023. Notice this. He's going to lead you by green pastures. He's going to lead you beside the still waters. He's going to restore your soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Hallelujah. You're going to experience. You're going to go. You're going to get through it. Just know that. You're going to get to the other side in 2023. And watch this. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Get ready for a feast. When other people are famine in the famine, get ready for a surplus and the feast of the favor of the Lord. He's going to provide it for you right in the presence of your enemies. It says, you anoint my head with oil. My cup runs over. Hallelujah. Are you ready for the overflow? Yes. In fact, the Lord said to me that this is the year of the flow. You're going to experience <laughs> the supernatural flow of God. Things are going to begin to flow. Just like he leads you by those waters. Just like he says, he says, my cup runs over. There's going to be, can I say it this way? Like a country boy. There, you're going to be gushing. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to be overflowing with the presence and the favor and the increase of God. It says, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. Now think about this. Most people just pass by that. But when you look at this in the Hebrew, it literally, it, the picture it shows is goodness and mercy are pursuing you, chasing you down. Literally, like if we like we watch football in America and you tackle, it literally means that mercy and goodness are going to tackle you. They're going to grab you. You're going to be pinned to the floor with the blessings of God. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Woo. Goodness and mercy will over uh, follow you all the days of your life. And lastly, it says, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. So I want you to know, beloved, in this year, 2023, you ain't seen nothing yet. You're going to move into the provision, the overflow. John 10, 10 says, I come that you might have life and have it uh, Abundant. more abundantly. But the amp Amplified says, filled to the full, even to the overflow. So get ready for mm -hmm. the overflow. Get ready for the flow of the Holy Spirit. You know, you're moving from famine to flow. 
you're oh, moving in a place where things are just going to flow. If you live in his presence. Now, now there are people that they want to pursue things in their own might and power. I'm not talking about that. But when you live in his face, you'll live in the flow. I'm stirred up over this suit. <laughs> <laughs> well, God is so good. And, and you know, he does. He makes a table for us in the yes. presence of our enemies. Yes. And it, we know that there are hard things ahead for 2023. Yeah. You know, this word does not negate that. The yeah. reality is that because God's goodness is so good, it overshadows the, the darkness That's right. and the overflow is for the righteous and, and those that allow themselves to be led by the good shepherd. That's right. He is our shepherd. He is our mm -hmm. caregiver. He is our provider. This, you have to know this. Now, most people know this. I could have quoted that scripture. We know it by heart. Uh, I wanted to read it to you from another translation. I didn't realize I didn't open it to that. So that's why I was there. But I wanted you to see it in the Passion Translation. Yeah. I wanted you to see it. I, I love the Passion Translation. Yes. I do too. I, I wanted you to see it. Uh, in this other translation, because I believe it, it will um, speak to somebody today in a, in, in a profound way. Um, and that's what I thought I'd opened up. So I started reading it there and then didn't realize it. Look at this. Yahweh is my best friend and my shepherd. Oh yeah. I always have more than enough. He offers a resting place for me in his luxurious love. His, his tracks take me to an oasis of peace near the quiet brook of bliss. That's where he restores and revives my life. He opens before me the right path and leads me along in his footsteps of righteousness so that I can bring honor to his name. Even when your path takes me through the valley of deepest darkness, <laughs> fear will never conquer me for you already have. <laughs> the oh, comfort good. of your love takes away my fear I'll never be lonely for you are near. You become my delicious feast, even when my enemies dare to fight. You anoint me with the fragrance of your Holy Spirit. You give me all I can drink of you until my cup overflows. So why would I fear the future? Only goodness and tender love pursue me all the days of my life. Then afterward, when my life is through, I'll return to your glorious presence to be forever with you. Wow. Oh, that's Think amazing. about that. That's a, that's a sea law moment for certain. It is. Just think of that. He wants you to live in the, his presence. And when mm -hmm. you live in his presence, you live in the flow. Yeah. There's nothing like it. Yeah. And our lives are transformed by his presence. You know, that's morning, right. noon, and night, there's a transformation that happens when we continue in his presence, when we rest in his presence. That's right. That's right. I wrote a book about it, Pause in My Presence. And actually, mm -hmm. Zoe co-authored it with me. Um, Sue, you, you met my daughter, Zoe, I believe, yeah. at the Prophetic Summit there with Cindy Jacob. And, and that, that book, I mean, it just, uh, out of all the seven books I've written, that book, uh, it, it really did something to me in writing it. I mean, I just had encounters with the Lord and just wept and was on my face because Selah means to pause in my presence. And he showed me that that pause symbol, like when you're looking at your iPod or your yeah, phone, yeah. Uh, the player, it's in the middle. And so if you keep pause in the middle of your life, if you learn to pause in his presence, then you can move fast forward. Yeah. Then you can see the apostolic acceleration. Then you can experience the encounter of mm -hmm. the flow of the supernatural, his provision, his favor, his increase, the flow of his river flowing through you to heal the sick, to raise mm -hmm. the dead, to cast out devils, all of that. It's, it's, it's found in the pausing in his presence. Jesus did it. I mean, he would pull away from his disciples and go pause in his father's presence. And that's what we got to do this year. So if you find yourself this year in the throes and the pain, going through something, because we always go through it, just know you're going to go through it.
But the That's way right. best through it is to learn when you're in the middle of it, to pause in his presence and to lift up his word over what you're going through. Exalt his name and his word over what you're facing. And then you'll find it. He's picked you up and carried you to the other side. <laughs> oh, praise God. Yes, yes, yes. Well, as we close today, would you proclaim over those that are listening, just proclaim over them uh, as the Lord leads you prophetically, some of what that's going to be like for them. Amen. Amen. Well, you know, uh, like never before, the world is in turmoil. Everybody's mm -hmm. uh, worried and in fear. Like I read earlier, even hell is on edge. They don't know what to do because now the ecclesia is arising. But at the same time, we're seeing all this darkness. Isaiah 60 talks about it. Gross darkness is covering the earth, but the glory of the Lord is rising upon you and me. It's rising upon his ecclesia, his church, his governing body in this hour. So if you're going through something this year, know this, that his glory is rising. There is a flow from heaven. You don't have to spin out of control. You don't have to engage and be a part of what the enemy's going through, all the turmoil and the stress and the trauma. You can rise up above it. There is a third heaven perspective. You don't have to live in the second heaven turmoil, in the static. God wants you to ascend. I hear him say it, ascend and enter. That's Revelations 4. God wants you to get up and get over it. Get up higher, get a higher perspective. Ephesians 2, you are seated with Christ in heavenly places. So take your seat today and begin yeah. to release the word of the Lord over the matter. If you find yourself, whether it's January, whether it's March, whether it's what month of the year you're in this coming year, know this, that God's word is yes and amen. Yeah. He's not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man he should repent. If he has spoken it, he will make it good. If he has promised it, he will bring it to pass. It might look totally different than what we've declared today. You might be seeing, my goodness, God, I feel the valley of the shadow of death. I feel darkness all around me. We'll declare the opposite of yeah. what you see around you right now. Declare the decree of the Lord. Speak the decree. Release the word and begin to see the darkness shatter. You will arise I prophesy to you in Jesus' name, you will get over this. You will come to the other side. Yes, hallelujah. You will go to the other side. Just like Jesus said, let us go to the other side. And the storm arose in the middle. I declare to you, you'll make it to the other side. You're going to see the fulfillment of the word of the Lord. Those children are coming home. Yes. <laughs> that was a specific on. one the lord of the lord he's speaking to someone right now they're mm -hmm. coming home not just to your home the lord says they're coming to his home they're coming yeah. to his house they're they're going to see salvation i declare and decree household salvation yes for you your children and your children's children in the mighty and matchless name of jesus and right now concerning that business you're in the middle of of some major decisions. The Lord is releasing wisdom. He said, if any man asks for wisdom, he'll give a liberal supply. So I release and I decree over you the wisdom of the Lord to operate that business for it to prosper, that you will not lose out, but you will gain and you will prosper. In fact, if you'll just hold on a little longer, there's some others that are wicked that will fall out and you're going to get their contracts. Receive the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. And to that man of God who feels like throwing in the towel, the Lord says, don't give up. Don't give in. The Lord says, just if you're, if you're going to throw in the towel, just wave your banner and surrender to my will and to my word. Don't throw it in and give up on my word. My word will come to pass. I will fulfill it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, and that's a good word. Thank you so much. Oh, yeah, it's so to good to have you, Joshua. And Joshua, you are a man that leads people into the promised land.
So, and that's part of what God's going to do in the Healing Rain community. So look up and believe and take a hold of these words by faith.